Hi guys, I'm Shutak from thedesignsketchbook.com and today we are going to see how to rise a tree division in one weekend. So basically what we are going to see here is gonna be a lot of fun and we, we are going to answer the question which is how to draw from 2D to 3D which is a question that I sometimes receive from uh, the readers of the blog and the thing is all about the difficulties uh, to visualize in three dimensions because whenever like for example for a cube if you try to imagine it you see it like in 2D as a square and our challenge is to transform it into a 3D cube okay to transform what you visualize in 2D into 3D and the thing is that uh, many people think that it's all about inner talent because you can't see the thing in 3D and you think that this is all about having or not having the ability but I will show you in these tutorials that is a skill uh, that you can acquire that this technique is going to help you to structure your mind to see in 3D and getting the ability to visualize in 3D so it's going to be super important for as a big milestone in your progression as a beginner and how we are going to see that is from the cube mania challenge because we are going to draw many 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 cubes from different angles so I'm going to ask you for a lot of dedication and work with these simple rules but you will need to practice and we are going to assemble, multiply and divide them okay so get ready uh, get a pen and some paper right now now because it's super important to practice it uh, on the spot so just draw it just do it now don't wait for the end of the videos you have to practice it at the same time as I do and I do recommend you guys to get a ballpoint pen and trying to avoid for the moment uh, regular pencils so don't use erasers okay so let's get started right here so our challenge here is we want a 2d into 3d and to use that we are going to use perspective rules and for these basics I do recommend you guys to start with the designer starter kit that you can download on the blog all right so it's going to get all explained step by step but let's get having a reminder here so we have the horizon line with two vanishing points on the left and right and we are going to draw small cubes uh, inside okay so i got the main front line i choose a height and i connect it to both vanishing points okay so now i decide of uh, the width that I connect from the right line to the left vanishing point to the opposite one and I'm doing the same on the other side the left line to the right vanishing point alright so that's pretty simple uh, and if everything is correct here is going to have a vertical line for the back so if you are a very beginner and you still have some doubt and not really mastering your, uh, your pen uh, feel free to use a ruler for the moment it will be fine as the most important thing here is to understand the process okay and you will have all the time then to carry on mastering your pen and your accuracy so now i want to expand this cube can you see the four green dots i'm going to uh, prolong them uh, to the right side so i use a left vanishing point to prolong them to the right and i use it as a starting point starting left going to the right okay and, and I do this for the four corner. And then I choose uh, how long I want to be for this expansion. Let's say here. So from this new front line, I'm going to connect it to the right vanishing point. That's it. Dun, dun. Here we go. And as you can see here, it's going to be all about reconstituting, <laughs> reconstituting, yeah, uh, this expansion. So this new volume, which is expansion of the initial cube. Everything will look logic. So uh, it's really like a game. Uh, you get the first line and then everything like come to logic. By using the perspective line, everything will connect each other. Okay. So we got expanding into one direction, so it's like to the right, and let's expanding to the left right now. So we are going to do exactly the same thing. Let's do it in yellow. <coughs> I expand it here. I choose how much width. Here we go, we carry on. Done. So you can do some thin expansion or some thicker one. Uh, you don't really have to, how to say, um, 
to use approximation you just need to follow the rules especially if you have a ruler you just need to apply the rules and everything will be all right and then in futures uh, when you won't use a ruler you will have to get also yourself tens of observations to carry on and iterate if needed <coughs> but usually um, you will find the answer in the technique and this is what is going to help you to structure everything uh, the right way And it's really really simple rule, but it's really like don't um, get overwhelmed by all of these, these details. You just go step by step, uh, one line after another, and everything fall into logic. <laughs> and as you can see, we got expanding the three directions in the X, Y, Z directions, which is super cool because it's already a very good start into drawing in 3D and uh, train your brain to see this thing in three dimensions. Okay. And very soon you will be able also to learn how to turn these volumes um, from different angles. So now, as you can see, I'm expanding to the back, which is super cool because it gets more challenging. Why? Because there is a lot of line happening here and there. And this is all about your ability to, uh, even though like the rule of symbols, to be able to focus on what you need, but you won't be overwhelmed and so you can get your target. And uh, the main rule here is that you have to start your sketches with a very light pen pressure. As you can see, my construction lines are very light and then I bold more uh, when, I, when it comes to drawing the volume. And then when it's bold, um, the, all the construction lines become kind of invisible, I would say. <coughs> and more uh, level of pen pressure you have, more freedom you will get. To iterate and as you can see here to make it even more obvious uh, I'm bolding even more uh, <laughs> even more darker so it get even more pop out all right so we have been assembling some pieces all together in all the directions and the next one we are going to draw some cubes and multiply them all right so get ready for the next video see you